Five minutes, we were talking. Let's share it. Okay. So now sh you should see the, the screen, taking phone forensics to the limit. C can you confirm? Can you see that? Very good. Good. Okay, so uh, my name is uh, Dusan Kozusnik. I'm CEO and founder of uh, Compulsion Company. Uh, and uh, as mentioned, uh, I visited uh, your beautiful uh, country and huge country with uh, great, great food and uh, wonderful people. Uh, you can see uh, I've been to uh, more places. Uh, so I have some overall uh, picture. Uh, also, it was supported by diplomacy. So I uh, f met with uh, diplomats uh, and uh, influential people. And here you can see some uh, real pictures. Uh, me and Helena, Helena, who's uh, VIP business sales and uh, my wife in, in one person. So we traveled uh, together. Uh, here we are the forensic uh, uh, conference or uh, more, more precisely, these are uh, uh, people from uh, Indian Army, from military. Uh, and uh, here's another picture uh, with police officers uh, in, in Patna is this one. Uh, this one is from Hyderabad uh, with uh, investigation experts. Uh, a lot of good questions uh, were there. This one is from Kolkata. Uh, so I've met uh, many people, many people in, in India. Uh, okay, so Compulson, who we are? Uh, Compulson is name of the company, while Mobility is name of the product. We are more known under the name of the product, uh, under the, the name Mobility. Uh, but the name of the comp company is Compulson. We started uh, in 1991, so uh, we are a pretty, pretty old company. Uh, and we started in PC security and in antivirus software. So in the uh, I was the antivirus uh, expert, uh, the, the pioneer. <laughs> And uh, we can, uh, we, th that time we developed the hardware uh, antivirus product, the hardware security product, and there are the roots of our knowledge. Uh, we have development uh, in, in Prague, uh, the Czech Republic, uh, and uh, uh, also the headquarters. Uh, so that's where all the new features are uh, being developed. Uh, and uh, mobile edit as the product. So what, what is good to know about uh, the mobile edit? Uh, it's family of products. Uh, forensic is one, one of them. And uh, we have uh, currently over 10 million installations of all our products uh, together, which is big difference uh, for, compared to uh, other forensic companies because their installations are in thousands, yeah, or tens, tens thousands. And uh, yesterday I had uh, a webinar and uh, meeting in the USA and uh, users there mentioned that uh, they are surprised uh, how uh, stable mobile edit is, yeah, that our solutions crash time to time or some of them more often. Uh, and mobile edit has uh, quite different stability. Uh, and that's uh, the result of uh, our development being uh, provided for really huge number of, uh, of users. So uh, we are getting feedback uh, from users who purchased the product for $20, yeah, and they want to get it right. So our uh, technical support. Yeah, please, can you mute? The, Okay. So I will, I will mute it. Okay, now it should be okay. Good. 
so that, that's one of the things, uh, interesting things uh, of, of mobile edit. Uh, recent years, we strictly focused to, to phone forensics because uh, we started phone forensic in 1996. Yeah, that was the, the date where uh, when we started uh, the phone forensics before we were devoted to, to antivirus industry. And we are known as the oldest company, oldest product in uh, phone forensic. So we, we've been on the market uh, something like uh, 11 years before before Celebrite, uh, before UFED came, and uh, years before before other uh, companies. So uh, that's about MobileEdit. Uh, it's being used by uh, most prestigious institutions uh, in the world. Uh, so it's pretty standard tool in the United States, in UK, and uh, in Europe, and in Latin America, and uh, many other countries. Uh, here you can see uh, if, uh, we are from uh, the Czech Republic, which is here, uh, and uh, if, uh, it's uh, in the heart of uh, Europe. Uh, and from here we have we have country broadcasting. This is the typical picture of Prague, the capital uh, of of Czech Republic and uh, here from our new office, uh, we have a view to Prague Castle uh, from, from the window. Behind me, you, you can see some view to, to, to the river. So it's not virtual uh, background, it's, uh, it's a real one. Uh, so we have uh, uh, 1.25 uh, p.m. time here. Uh, I think you are three hours and 30 minutes uh, ahead of us. So uh, you have, you have uh, still the, the light there, uh, I expect. Okay. Here is an uh, example of uh, f antivirus uh, industry uh, of Czech Republic, because we are, as you could see in the map, we, we are a very small country. Yeah? We are a very small country, and you may ask why mobile edit uh, could be interesting for, for you. Uh, f uh, how is it possible, such a small country, uh, such uh, uh, a respected product. Uh, there are deep roots uh, in our country regarding the security, uh, maybe because of uh, uh, th this was the edge of uh, previous uh, previous system where uh, f f Russia and uh, some social bloc and uh, the Western, more Western from us uh, was uh, NATO, Germany and so on. Also, Second World War st started uh, started here, uh, so uh, the, the security is uh, the thing that we are concerned about. And uh, uh, from from Czech Republic, there are most known uh, antivirus products. Uh, I'm sure you know at least one of them: uh, AVG, uh, Asset, or Avast. Avast is currently probably number one in the in the world. Uh, and uh, Avast CEO uh, was in 90, 90s generally the part of Compasson. He was he was my student, and I was teaching him how to develop security, how to develop antiviruses. Later, uh, he he jumped on uh, on Avast uh, and uh, started his career there. So f f we are connected, kind of, and they are uh, gurus, uh, masters. Uh, in antivirus industry, and we uh, jumped from antiviruses to, to mobile, and that's why we have so great product and uh, knowledge in, in the mobile industry. So this uh, is explaining some, some rules. Uh, I'm sure you know Bata company as well, why I'm showing it here. Uh, for when I was traveling in, uh, in India, I, I've seen that uh, Bata shoes company is very popular there. And many people in India, they think it's uh, it's uh, Indian company, yeah. But uh, actually, the truth is, it's uh, uh, founded by uh, Thomas Bata, uh, uh, who is uh, a guy in, in from Czech Republic. He founded it uh, in 1894 in Czech Republic, and uh, uh, his brother uh, Jan Antonin Bata. Uh, founded uh, the, the branch in 1931 in India. Yes, yeah, so it's a pretty old company, uh, even in India. Uh, so uh, they're from the Czech Republic. And uh, you probably know uh, the, the Skoda car manufacturer, 
just Emil Skoda founded a company uh, about the same same year, almost the same year as, as Batya, uh, again from, from Czech Republic. So uh, we have some presence in India, you, you know Czech Republic there, uh, through, through these, uh, these companies, and now uh, you are connected with, uh, with us. So uh, let's take a look to uh, the, the forensic science and context with, with us. So forensic science is very important for each state to operate well, to be able to effectively uh, investigate the crime. And uh, it is an interesting history that started in the 16th century by uh, uh, pathology, uh, then toxicology, uh, shotgun, uh, ballistics, uh, fingerprinting was a big breakthrough, DNA a, a huge breakthrough, and all these methods are very important when you investigate any, any crime, but uh, it's not enough. Yeah, the, these methods are important, but in current world, it's not enough. Uh, and uh, why? Because world has changed. Yeah, and it has changed that people uh, started to use uh, mobile phones massively for everything, and they are living in kind of virtual world, in kind of matrix. Yeah, uh, and uh, a lot of their activities during the day are not physical but uh, are digital. So logically, you need to bring the digital uh, evidence on the table. Otherwise, uh, today you don't investigate too much. Yeah. Uh, so it became a strategic field. And uh, the world changed uh, twice. This is, this is uh, another change that came a year ago uh, that uh, we have COVID and world became even more digital even more digital, even this meeting is, uh, is digital and I'm sure you had many, many meetings like this uh, connected uh, virtually uh, through the computer or through the phone. Uh, so uh, it's generating a lot of evidence, a lot of digital evidence and without ability uh, to, to work with this evidence, there's no chance to inv investigate anything successfully. Uh, so phones are also strong tools for organizing crime and uh, they keep the, the most important evidence, uh, usually through apps, as we will uh, see uh, later. I will be fast on uh, some slides to go to technical information uh, later. So mobile device forensic is the most needed, as we can see it in the world, uh, even more than, uh, than computer forensics. Uh, but it's important to say that phone forensic, uh, how powerful or no matter how powerful it is, it's also complicated field. It's not an easy field. Uh, it's not the field where you buy one product and uh, you have everything solved. So otherwise we wouldn't have this meeting. Yeah, you, you would have purchased that just the product solved. Uh, you don't need to uh, spend time on, uh, on meetings. Uh, so let's take a look uh, to phone forensic challenges. We see the challenge number one in phone unlocking. Yeah, it starts with phone unlocking. Uh, and uh, if the phone is locked, encrypted, you will not probably get the evidence. Uh, there's not to, uh, there's no, no uh, chance. So phone unlocking is uh, very complicated and a big challenge. But even if you have phone unlocked, you still don't have evidence, yeah? You have only unlocked phone. So in order to get uh, evidence from a phone, you need to have great content uh, extraction. You, you need to have tool that is really extracting everything, parsing uh, everything, getting you the evidence. And if you have everything, step one, unlocking content extraction uh, successful, still you don't have the evidence, you have a lot of data. You need uh, successful data analysis to get the to get the data to get uh, the exact evidence. So uh, that's third uh, challenge as we as we can see that. Uh, how can we help you, uh, the mobility team, the Compressor Company, uh, with these challenges? Uh, for phone unlocking, we've implemented uh, some uh, methods and techniques. Uh, widely widely uh, successful and 
uh, effective, like MTK exploit, EDL hack, LG exploit, various Android flashing methods. Uh, uh, recently, we have implemented also Kaios hack, the low level uh, access to Kaios phones uh, and parsing the data directly from Kaios uh, operating system. Uh, so we are very successful with Spreadram uh, chipset, which, by the way, is very popular in India. And uh, I brought uh, a lot of phones from India uh, that we have uh, analyzed here. And uh, we prepared uh, the mobile edit uh, that is very capable in unlocking Indian phones. And uh, we are focusing on those phones that, for example, UFET is not able to unlock. Uh, and uh, so we are probably, probably able to unlock uh, uh, hundreds of millions of Indian phones uh, that other tools don't, uh, don't support. And we have also some hardware methods how to get uh, inside those phones. And we want to focus uh, a lot uh, on the Indian market uh, to help you to get uh, in those phones. Because if you connect them to, to UFET, uh, it will not bring you anything while we can, without any PIN code, uh, any password, get uh, all the data. And uh, mainly from, from feature phones, yeah, from the, from the feature phones uh, that uh, everybody in India, uh, in India uh, I think, has a feature phone and a smartphone. Uh, so we are able to get the data from those, uh, those feature phones uh, that, that are so popular. Uh, and we have some iPhone unlocking, not, uh, not the perfect one. Uh, you need to uh, know the password, uh, but uh, we are able to use uh, check and checkmate to get to get you the data. Okay. So uh, we do full content uh, uh, parsing uh, of of data and and carving. And uh, we do it in a different way than, uh, than UFET, uh, because with UFET and other tools, you have to choose what method you, you want. Uh, if it's advanced logical, file system one, uh, file system two, uh, if you, if you uh, work with UFET, you probably know that. Mobile Edit doesn't ask you uh, about this. Uh, it uh, understands the task, uh, and uh, it will use all possible protocols, combine them, to get the data. Some protocols, they, they uh, provide the same data, so it deduplicates uh, the data and presents you with the widest range, uh, widest set of, of the evidence, which uh, is very comfortable for a uh, user, for investigator. Uh, he or she doesn't need to be uh, an expert, uh, but it wasn't easy to develop it in this, in this uh, easy, easy way. Yeah, so uh, application analysis, that's our big specialty. That's our big specialty. Uh, we uh, focus on it and uh, f we, we support a lot of applications and uh, that's, we brought big innovations in this field as uh, we will show you later. Uh, we focus on decryption of applications, uh, delete data, and let's take a look to data analysis. We use machine learning uh, for photo analysis uh, in order to find uh, photos with uh, objects that might be of your interest, like uh, violence, uh, like uh, narcotics, uh, like documents, money, and so on. We have face matcher uh, that uh, finds two exact uh, faces. Uh, and uh, we export everything to, to other software. So you can use any third party solution, open source solution uh, to, uh, yeah, uh, I'm admitting a few more people who are uh, connecting to, the, to this presentation. Okay, let's mute. Good. So now we are pretty open, mobility is a pretty open solution, uh, able, able to, uh, provide the data to anything else. Regarding phone unlocking, we are working on currently a secret project uh, we call Project X, uh, where we uh, are extremely successful with breaking even the most secure phones. Hold on. 
uh, including including uh, on iPhone, we we have a great success rate. Not 100, but a very very high success rate uh, on unlocking iPhones, and it's a special and new new method uh, that, as far as I know, nobody on the market has. So stay tuned uh, regarding that. Uh, and uh, we have live update and uh, application analysis and content extraction. So uh, if, uh, I will explain later that. Generally, what you can expect from us. We have products, mobile edit, connection kit, uh, which is hardware to connect phones. Uh, we are working on Apple Watch kit, uh, I will mention later. And we have product camera ballistics, plus we have services. We are able to unlock uh, or to help you with unlocking uh, phones, to provide you some expert uh, advisory. If you need to uh, unlock phones, we can tell you how we see uh, possibilities regarding that. Uh, we uh, offer trainings, uh, uh, online trainings currently, for broadcasting, uh, and we can help you in, uh, with building forensic labs. So that's uh, introductory information. And take, let's take a look to more details. I'm sure you know NIST, US government institution. Uh, they are testing uh, mobile forensic products uh, for, for many years. Uh, and uh, their tests are publicly available. If you download them uh, if, uh, or if you visit the page, uh, you will see something like this, a list of uh, tests. And also in the same moment, this is a list of uh, the most important uh, products uh, in, the, in the phone forensic industry. So this is a great overview. You can see Oxygen here, UFAT, Mobilize, uh, uh, Mobilized, all are listed, listed here. Uh, when you download these tests, uh, there are a lot of tables and uh, evaluated tables, you will see something like, like this. So this is, uh, the success rate uh, of those products uh, compared uh, the the NIST test comparison. And here on this screen is not important who has a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, for, for all those three products uh, we're doing at about same. Uh, what is more important is that nobody is even close to 100%. Yes, so that there is no perfect solution. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Or maybe you, you may ask, uh, how is that possible? How is that possible that uh, th these products are not cheap yeah? compared to price of a laptop? Uh, they are more expensive than, than even computer. Uh, and uh, they are not that successful. Why? The explanation is, that uh, phone forensic is a very complicated field based on reverse engineering. So we don't have any support of manufacturers. Uh, the opposite is true. Manufacturers of phones, they don't like us. Uh, and we have to find out everything uh, uh, alone. Uh, so that, that's, that's the reason why it's not 100%. And what happens if you combine two products? So let's take a look to, to diagram if you combine mobile edit with UFET, you can see jump by 10%. Yes, yeah, so these products combined are much better. And 10% is a big jump. Uh, if you consider that those uh, might be like hundreds or even thousands of mail, emails or messages, that in that 10% can be the answer to the question if uh, the, the user, the suspect, uh, is uh, guilty or innocent. Let's take a look if you combine uh, mobility with X-Ray, MSAB product, another jump. So it looks like mobility is good, uh, also in combination with, uh, with other tools, uh, which is exactly true. And let's take a look what's behind those 10, 10%, 10 yeah, 10%. Uh, this is a real email. Uh, no, no word was uh, was changed, so this is not advertisement. And uh, Lawrence Leap, uh, the certified uh, expert of UFED, mm -hmm. 
the user, a certified uh, expert of UFAT, uh, started using mobile edit and he sent me this email. Yesterday, I collected LG Android phone from a new case. Mobile edit extracted 8,000 emails, including 4,000 deleted emails from the phone. Celebrate UFAT extracted zero emails from the same phone. Yeah. So that's uh, that's uh, how 10% difference, this will be probably more than 10% uh, can look like. And uh, in other cases, and it can be opposite. Yeah? If, uh, mobile edit zero, uh, you fed, you fed uh, a lot of evidence. So here I'm not uh, showing that mobile edit is better, but that uh, it can add uh, a lot of evidence uh, to your cases. So conclusion of this is, that it's very important to use more tools to get maximum data. That uh, one tool is not enough and you cannot rely on one tool, especially in uh, more complicated cases. Uh, why to use mobile edit? Uh, there are a lot, of, a lot of reasons, more reasons than this, uh, but uh, it is a lot of uh, applications uh, supported uh, it has live updates. Uh, it usually gets uh, gets some extra data. Uh, if, uh, it can connect some phones that other solutions cannot, and it's uh, UFAT compatible. And uh, let's take a look uh, what it means. Okay, let's mute the new attendee. So mobile edit basically can read uh, UFD. Uh, and also you have the R files, so you don't need to connect uh, the phone again. You just open UFD file uh, and uh, continue in the extraction. Uh, so mobile edit is uh, very useful as addition to uh, your lab if you uh, currently have UFET. And uh, for very reasonable money, it can get you the, the extra evidence and send the UFDR export to uh, UFED Reader or UFED Analytics, where you can continue uh, in your current uh, workflow. Uh, you can also uh, utilize the very powerful uh, reporting functionality of Mobile Edit. Uh, we are known to have uh, the best uh, PDF HTML uh, reports uh for on the on the market uh, and uh, we devoted a lot of time to to that this is mobile edit uh, for, as it's popular in the in the field in in the united states they use mobility to gather the data and you fed reader and you fed analytics to to analyze it in the lab uh, that's a very money saving uh, combination and this is mobile edit as the only tool in the in the lab uh, you can connect uh, phones, you can unlock them and uh, do uh, for, or make reports uh, or exports. Uh, what are advantages uh, of, uh, of mobile edit? Uh, we, we do support, uh, for example, in comparison with UFED, uh, which supports 320 uh, unique apps, we support over 1,000, over 1,000 unique apps. So we can get you evidence from uh, of, uh, many Indian apps, or um, uh, as you will see, see later, we can uh, support uh, quickly new new apps through live updates. Uh, of, uh, we, we have many interesting features. Uh, also, uh, we are very price effective, but uh, the pricing differs on the taxes and, and so on. And uh, we are selling uh, in India only through uh, the authorized uh, resellers, uh, uh, such as Forensic Guru, we have great relationship with uh, with Summer Dat, uh, who is not only reseller but also technology partner and expert uh, in the field. Uh, f he has uh, f also the tools, the software tools uh, for gathering the evidence, the database, and, and so on, uh, which uh, are uh, compatible. Uh, and we are working on uh, even tighter cooperation to, to connect uh, our tools. So whatever you get from mobile phones, no matter if it's mobile edit or uh, UFET, uh, it will uh, end uh, without any loss uh, of information in uh, your information system uh, in, in the database. 
So uh, now let's take a look uh, more closely to, to mobile edit uh, as a tool. So we call it all in one tool, but uh, uh, I would say uh, more that it's batch processing, uh, batch processing uh, of fonts. Okay, another attendee is coming. Let's admit him. Good. Uh, so it's batch processing. So we, we say that's uh, the tool that you will spend the, the less time with. Yeah. Uh, so it's not complex tool like uh, Oxygen and others where you need to have a certification to be able to work with. Uh, we basically, uh, you connect the phone and we take everything in, in batch from the phone and present you with uh, the results. So it's not uh, that interactive. It's it's batch uh, solution to save you to save you the time. So you get the maximum data and minimum time, and it's uh, uh, very carefully carefully designed. This is how it looks like. So when you run mobile edit, you will see this. So sim simple page um, that explains what uh, the product does. And uh, you don't need to know anything. You see that update, clicking updates uh, would be good. And we have the most advanced update system on, in the industry with many modules being updated uh, because we believe that successful phone forensic is about frequent updates. So we update our malware detection engine. We update our application analysis, uh, parsers. Uh, we, we update... Uh, Cell towers, many, many other things, uh, uh, unlocking uh, features, uh, many, many others. So uh, it's uh, basically the, the long list. And uh, you can see, even without reading a user guide, that uh, hitting the start button is, is the way how to continue. That's the first uh, screen. And uh, you can see interesting uh, information here. And that's three phones connected. Yes, with mobile edit, you can connect as many phones as your computer allows to. So not just one phone at a time, but multiple phones, and you can run concurrent extractions, uh, which is also great because mobile edit is uh, price effective. It's not that expensive as other solutions. Uh, if, uh, if we, we want to be, to be helping uh, in countries as, as India, to have uh, more installations uh, at the same price and with one license to connect more phones, yeah? Because in, in India, there are a lot of people, so you need to be more effective. One phone at a time is not enough with one expensive license. So uh, here you can see three phones connected. And let's click Next. Then uh, you have the choice. What do you want to get from the phone? You can click easily all you will get uh, maximum information or you may be interested only in uh, calls or contacts let's click next that's next page it's it's uh, like for iphone what we are able to get like gps locations notifications passwords wi-fi networks uh, bluetooth history of devices connected by bluetooth and so on and here you can choose uh, what is the output format Okay, another attendee coming. Uh, so uh, you can see HTML, PDF, uh, and Excel are uh, the, the key uh, report formats. And for exports, Celebrate UFDR, very, very important one, uh, and uh, Mobile Edit uh, XML formats. Uh, mobile Edit Export is a good format uh, for uh, Forensic Guru software. Uh, where you will be able to, to import it uh, to, to the database of evidence and work with it uh, further. Uh, in the beginning, uh, you can either uh, connect uh, the phone or you can import file. And we have many import possibilities like iTunes uh, backup folder, uh, like any data from folder. So we can basically analyze also uh, files from a PC, the photos from a PC, uh, 
uh, thousands or millions of, uh, of photos uh, with our machine learning uh, technology, uh, data from zip file or physical image that you get from the lab uh, with ISP methods, advanced methods, and, and so on, various backup uh, formats, uh, and so on. So uh, that was uh, basically how mobile edit looks like. Yeah? There are, of course, a lot of other screens, but this is what you uh, will mainly uh, experience uh, when working uh, with uh, mobile edit. Uh, let's take a look to apps. Uh, there are apps virtually for anything. Yeah? People use uh, apps to interact with their phones. So uh, actually a successful uh, parsing of information from apps means successful phone forensic. So no matter uh, if uh, you are successful with unlocking phones, uh, where UFET is very strong, yeah, UFET is a very good tool for unlocking phones. Uh, it's uh, probably the best on the market, but uh, I believe we are much stronger in application analysis because we focus there. And uh, we focus on features where you felt is not too strong. Uh, so apps are extremely important. And uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, easy job. Unlocking phones is not easy, but app analysis is not easy uh, too. Because there are too many apps. They use often strong encryption. They are being updated very often. And there are apps specific for, for different regions. Yeah? So this all together makes it a very tough job. That's why we invented the live updates uh, technology. And it allows you uh, to get the new application support uh, as soon as possible and uh, to receive it in very comfortable way without downloading anything from website. It will just arrive uh, to mobile edit as uh, update to antivirus software you don't reinstall antivirus software every every day it receives every day the, the update package that's how we how we work so this was able to shorten the uh, cycle the update cycle from two to three months uh, that are needed uh, for some major update of the software uh, two days if uh, if uh, we, we want to release in, in days. Okay, uh, I have here some information, but it's for, for longer uh, presentation. Of what's new in recent releases? Uh, 7273. Uh, 73, you can see uh, that we have their Apple Watch direct reading. Yeah, which is. Uh, uh, amazing feature, and uh, as far as I know, uh, no other uh, product uh, offers that. And I can show you because we are uh, preparing this for uh, release. Uh, the the special connection kit, Apple Watch kit. Uh, I'll show that right now, live. So this is uh, this is the mobile edit case. Yeah, uh, usually it's a connection fit kit with cables, but now we we have the version for Apple Watch, and there will be uh, three readers needed uh, in order to read a different uh, series of Apple Watch, and these three cover all of them. Uh, series zero that started years ago uh, to to series six uh, that is this, this actual on the market. And the, the reader looks like this. So it looks like this, yeah. There is a special, special connector. You also need this. You insert this to, to Apple Watch and connect 
connect this and uh, mobile edit will detect uh, Apple Watch and will read diagnostic uh, files from, from Apple Watch and uh, some extra information. Uh, we have in our user guide, which is online, a uh, list of information uh, that uh, we can get from, from Apple Watch. And it can really solve uh, cases. Uh, we, we have information uh, from the forensic field that it helps to, uh, to, to solve uh, serious cases. So that was that was example. This is uh, the update page. Uh, as I mentioned, yeah, that uh, successful phone forensic is about uh, updates. And here you can see how many modules uh, we we are uh, updating separately. Yes, yeah, so it's not just that you install a new solution. As, as uh, f, uh, I know the UFAT, you have to install whole UFAT. Yeah. What's up? I'm your user. Let's let's mute. Okay, can continue. So uh, the first you can update uh, whole whole solution, whole uh, whole mobile edit. So mobile edit itself will tell you there is new update. Do you want to update? You click and it handles everything. You don't need to go somewhere, log on, download, install. It handles everything. Then scripts, application parser parsers. Then app downgrade feature uh, is updated separately. Cell towers, EDL hacking methods, face matcher, uh, which is machine learning technology, photo recognizer, separately updated, translations uh, se separately, so new, new languages, malware detection, uh, for recovery images for phone unlocking, uh, our screenshot support, file exclude list uh, from, from NIST, so we are able to exclude from the phone. Uh, files that are embedded that uh, the phone is coming with so to separate user generated uh, files from system files uh, that, that all uh, we can we can update separately and keep uh, the mobile edit uh, alive and, and updated and as I mentioned we support over 1000 of unique apps and which apps uh, Mobile Edit uh, is, uh, is the only solution where uh, we publicly list uh, the apps that are supported. You just go to our website, uh, you click to support and uh, supported phones or supported uh, apps. And you will see such a list. You will see each, each app represented here. Uh, you can see the platform and also the kind of data we are able to provide. And uh, what happens if you will not find the application you, you need to, to analyze, to investigate? You click to request for that application and you can ask us uh, to do the job for you. Yeah. So uh, when you fill in the form, uh, the request form, it goes through Slack directly to our development and support team, uh, and we can start uh, analysis of the app. Not the data you have, but the app will generate the data. Uh, we analyze it, and we release that analyzer through the updates, through live updates uh, in the next update. So you will get it available, and not only you, but the whole world all our users. So that's how we work and uh, how flexible we are and uh, uh, how innovative uh, we, we are. Now the like overall uh, interesting features, we have wide range of supported phones because we started so many years ago, we support a lot of uh, not just new phones, but uh, also old phones, feature phones and so on. Yeah, almost all phones ever manufactured. Uh, we do offer some phone unlocking, uh, but uh, we are not that strong as, as you had in phone unlocking. Yeah, it wasn't our primary focus. Focus, we didn't want to develop the same tool as you had is. Uh, but this uh, is changing uh, because we are fully devoted to finishing quite new version eight. So currently, there is the newest version is Mobile Edit 
but we are going to release very soon uh, version 8. And uh, that version is focused uh, on phone unlocking. So there will, it's, it's quite new user interface regarding phone unlocking. There's database of phones. And we have their uh, big innovations. Uh, one of them is that we will be able to update phone unlocking through uh, the similar system through live updates. So adding new phones to unlock, new phones to, to hack, uh, to do low level access, uh, we will be able to do on demand and through the live updates. So without reinstalling uh, of the product. And this will allow us to be extremely flexible and to speed up uh, delivery of uh, support for, for new phones. Okay. So that's a big thing uh, coming. Yeah, physical data acquisition, direct reading from Apple Watch. Uh, f I would say here, uh, not just iCloud, but uh, version eight is coming with cloud data acquisition. And that functionality will be built in mobility. You will not have to purchase another separate product, uh, which is also good for your workflow because and as soon as, uh, as soon as uh, we uh, have the access to the phone and find there the logon information, username, password, or, or logon token, we can use it to connect through the internet directly to the cloud service and start uh, extracting, gathering data from the cloud as well. So uh, we, we can do it concurrently yeah? and immediately because time can be crucial. We have application downgrade, delete the data recovery, some password breaker. Uh, mobile edit is developed uh, completely in 64 bits. Uh, so it's able to uh, handle uh, a lot of data and utilize uh, well the, the memory. Uh, here again, concurrent extraction with beautiful reports, customization of, uh, of reports to different languages. Uh, here is the example of uh, our report. It's well formatted. Uh, we use colors, icons, so it's uh, understandable in, in court. It's not just uh, simple tables. Yeah, so it looks like this. We are compatible with UFET and others, easy to use. We have camera ballistics, object face finder. It looks like this. You can choose documents, currency, uh, weapons, uh, narcotics, and so on. This is how uh, the machine learning module looks in uh, the report. Uh, it shows you uh, photos so only with specified uh, objects, like here drugs. Wine is also a drug, yeah? so it's included. Uh, yeah, smoking, recognized images of weapons. Yeah, and this is the connection kit. You could see this with Apple Watch readers, but this is the classical one. Uh, with cables. Okay, and I will just quickly mention the camera ballistics uh, is uh, a technology, it's uh, a software and technology that is able to answer the question if a photo was really taken by a suspected camera, which means the phone, but it means also digital cameras, yeah? standalone cameras. So, so the product can be used for any, any camera, any sensor. Okay, uh, here I will ask you if, uh, if you have any, any questions we, we, can, uh, we can discuss here. Uh, uh, themes that might be of your, of your interest. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, generally. I can uh, dive more deeply to, to camera ballistics, no, but before I, I started, we, we can discuss uh, the, the phone forensics and your, your needs uh, and so on.
Yeah. Uh, we have the list of supported languages uh, on the on the website, uh, and uh, we can add, add more at two levels. First level, first step uh, is uh, to uh, add language in a report, yeah, uh, which is the most important and it's uh, the fastest. Uh, uh, it means then that uh, the user can operate mobile edit in English. Uh, but the report will be generated in the local language, uh, which is important for the court uh, to, to have the report in, in local language. Uh, the language in which uh, the, the user works is, is not that important. So that's the first step. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, we just provide uh, to, to our partner the uh, table in Excel. Uh, for, as soon as this is translated, uh, we include it into the project, and that's how new uh, new uh, translation uh, appears. Or uh, the user can do it uh, on uh, on his own. Uh, the other possibility is the full user interface uh, for localization. It's uh, twice more text, and uh, uh, we are able to to do it as well. Yeah, with uh, with uh, our partners. Uh, we support some of them uh, as well, uh, uh, but uh, currently we, we focus uh, for on, on few few directions. Uh, one is, of course, Android phones, and uh, we are mainly uh, trying to find phones that are not supported by UFET uh, to support them, uh, plus uh, to support phones uh, that UFET, UFET has and are like very popular. Uh, and uh, we are especially interested in supporting uh, uh, feature phones uh, popular in India that nobody supports, that nobody supports. Yeah? So feature phones, uh, if, uh, they have uh, some interesting evidence. Uh, sorry? Yeah. Exactly. Geo. Geo is like number one. We are able to unlock many Geo phones, uh, and Geo is very popular. Yeah, Facebook invested in in Geo, uh, so I brought from India a few Geo phones, and we are able to unlock them uh, in an amazing way. Uh, some of them you can uh, unlock by uh, hitting some combination of buttons, and Mobile Edit can get there. Uh, and for some of them, you need to. Uh, disassemble the phone and uh, shorten uh, two pins uh, and connect to mobile edit and we can get uh, we can get you the physical image of the phone and uh, we we are preparing some list of phones and also the schematics uh, to show you which pins in your lab to to shorten and uh, that will be breakthrough because as far as we know, no, nobody is doing that. So you would have uh, access to a lot of evidence from millions of phones. Maybe I can show you. Uh, some. Uh, so try, try to prepare if you have some some questions meanwhile no questions Can show here. Okay, so this is our website. 
and uh, to find uh, supported apps you go you go here click supported apps and here here is the list you can make the list longer yeah a lot of a lot of apps you can write here the string and it will show you the, the apps regarding Bitcoin. And you can see what we can get. On Coinbase, for example. Yeah, we can get you to, to the app as well. If you if you click there. Yeah, package name we can we can show you. And when you click to request app here you describe what app are you searching uh, for the platform and send a request and also regarding mobile edit uh, it's it's here among products mobile edit forensic express and here is a very important page where you can see all the information regarding the some walkthrough video uh, and uh, the when you click to details you see the list of uh, all functionalities we have there uh, what physical extraction we do uh, and also yeah what uh, what exports what reports uh, what live updates and you can see also languages yeah so you can see reports in which languages do we generate reports and full product user interface. So all is here and you can find there even more like what's new. So exactly the, the releases we, we do and uh, what, is, what is new there. So version eight is coming in a few months, big jump, big version, uh, big innovations. And here you can see even user guide. So when you click there, we have online user guide with all the information. Yes, yeah, so so everything is everything is here. Introduction to phone forensics, delete data, yeah, and, and so on. So everything is uh, is online. There the cow technique how to how to unlock the phone with uh, with this technique with our techniques and and so on so i recommend you to to visit visit that okay any other questions Okay, then, then I may uh, tell you a few words about camera ballistics. Uh, why we do camera ballistics? It's because of... Yeah? Okay, so let's take a look to camera ballistics. Uh, you, you may find a lot of photos in, in phones, yeah? If, uh, people are taking a lot of pictures. Uh, but as an evidence, uh, it's uh, important to know if uh, the photo was uh, taken by uh, a certain phone uh, or if it was just downloaded. Yeah, it's uh, like essential information because having the photo in the phone, it doesn't mean you, you took it. So that's why we developed uh, the camera ballistics uh, that cooperates with uh, mobile edit and it's able uh, to test uh, photos if they were really 
originally taken by sensor of uh, of that fall and so we can take a look how, how it works uh it's matching we call it camera ballistics yeah we uh, came with this uh, on the market years ago and uh, now even this field is called uh, camera ballistics so you may see some other solutions that say camera ballistics but uh, their original name we gave it and uh, it works in a similar way uh, as shotgun ballistics uh, physically it's different but uh, uh, the, the workflow is uh, is same. So you find a bullet on a crime scene. Yeah, you, you find dead body and uh, bullet in, in dead body. Uh, and it's similar as you find uh, a photos uh, such as child pornography in, in somebody's flat. Yeah, and uh, with bullets, you need to find a gun. Yeah, you need to find a gun. Uh, the police officers. And then you, you uh, run uh, the shotgun ballistics. So with that gun, uh, you are shooting uh, new bullets and you are comparing uh, bullets from the crime scene uh, with this uh, testing. And this is exactly how camera ballistics works. You need to find a camera, get it to your lab, and to shoot testing images and provide them to our camera ballistics product and the camera ballistics uh, from this testing uh, shots creates fingerprint of the sensor and that fingerprint of the sensor can be applied uh, on those crime scene in this case child pornography photos and camera ballistics will tell you if uh, it's uh, if they have been taken by the camera so that's uh, that's how it works and it's actually a set of mathematical techniques uh, that uh, analyze physics of a sensor in order to find their, uh, the fingerprint of, of the sensor. So this is how testing learning set of uh, photos uh, look like in your lab. These are uh, analyzed photos. And uh, here you can see the result, fingerprint found, fingerprint found, where it's green, where, where it's red, then fingerprint uh, hasn't been found. This is the report. And that's it. That's it. So summary uh, of uh, my message is that uh, in order to be successful with uh, phone forensic, uh, it's uh, important to use more tools. Use more tools, build forensic labs, uh, use more methods, uh, not, not just tools, train your team, use third party knowledge uh, and use third party services as, for example, uh, our trainings uh, of mobile edit or our trainings of advanced unlocking of phones, because we can, uh, we can uh, train you how to disassemble phones, how to do successful ISP, uh, uh, JTAG, or other methods. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Samir, if you want to say some, some closing words. Yeah, questions in the great comment box. Sorry? I, I didn't get the question. No, I was uh, asking them in a local language whether they have any questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know already, yeah. but almost all Indian people speak English, which is great.
Fantastic. So thank you for coming. Have a nice evening. And let's stay in touch. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.